my outdoor crew doing? Day two, East Tennessee trip. Um, what time is it? I don't have a watch on. 6:36. I'm being kind of quiet. I'm still in the tent. I ain't got out and started rustling with the truck yet. Um, gonna make some coffee here in a little bit foggy this morning which I had a feeling it would be because how warm it was uh, I slept pretty good I was tired last night I was tired but uh, yeah we're gonna get up here in a little bit drink some coffee hang out eat some breakfast Danny and them leave out here in a little bit um, Travis will be heading out in a little bit. I think maybe um, Swamp Stalker will be leaving out too. Cause sounds like his wife's not feeling too good, so it just depends on how she wakes up. Not feeling good on a camping trip or any kind of trip. It's the worst. It's It's been a good little trip so far. But this, this foam pad made the difference last night. Made all the difference in the world. I like it. Slept good. So we're back to the army cot. <laughs> we're back to the army cot in here. But now I've got room. I can sit my chair up. Hang out in here. If it was raining or something, I could hang out in here if I needed to. Um, but yeah. So, right now I'm going to just kind of chill. And I'll get up, get out there, and I don't want to make too much ruckus yet. I don't like, I don't like making, and I got to open the truck and all that stuff. So, anyways, guys, we'll be back in a little bit. By the way, if you're wondering what I use for dishes, I use this right here. Base camp, that's what it's called. Concentrated camp soap, more skin, hair, and utensils. So I use it for my dishes. Seems to do pretty good. It's not real sudsy. And I don't feel bad tossing the water out afterwards. Um, all right. We're going to leave the campsite, um, buttoned everything up from trash and all that, leaving the, everything up. I'm not taking everything down because I'll be back here later. But, um, got to use the facilities, you know, morning constitutional. And then we're going to head over to Chuck Swan. Um, the more I talk to Travis, um, I know exact. I know pretty much where I'm going to be going and what I'm going to be doing. So I'm ready for it. I think truck's ready for it. I mean, <laughs> truck might as well be ready for it. But anyway, um, Big Ridge State Park. My opinions on it. It's a tight park. Uh, don't bring a big camper here. Uh, you're have fun getting it in the spot. Um, I've seen a couple that were too big, and I don't think they're regretting it. But it's beautiful scenery, beautiful park. Um, anyway, let's get over to Chuck Swan. And uh, all right, um, 
Man, this is a pretty a pretty road. I came the back way out of um, Big Red State Park, and it was gorgeous through there. Just gorgeous. So I can't wait to see what Chuck Swan's got in store for me. But uh, we're going to be on this for a little bit. And then uh, we'll be at Chuck Swan. Hey right, guys, welcome to Chuck Swan Swan Wildlife Management Area. That's where we're headed. Not headed that way. That's the main forest road. That's what I'm looking for. But uh, I gotta change GoPros out and get the Hero 5 up so I can monitor things. So be back a little bit. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to get to and got to right off the bat is the old fire tower. You can actually go up to that so far but i am not climbing them steps nope not to me not today but look at the view back over there and then they put a cell tower or yeah it's a cell communications tower but uh yeah so that's the first thing i wanted to show you was the fire tower it's actually open here at the bottom so you can go up as far as you want to i guess I'm not. Nope. Not today. Not tomorrow. But anyways, let's get on. Okay, I've heard of fork in the road, but what about a tree in the road? Eh, you got a tree in the road. We ought to be getting pretty close to the chapel, according to Gaia. the way I've come in is the way you should come I mean I, I feel like it'd be the way to, to come in um, so I mean there like I said there's another road it'll show on Gaia if you're using Gaia I didn't trust it in my truck now if it's like this the whole way then yeah I could have done it no problem but uh, here's what it is So I can get some dirt in the truck and say I went off road. Hopefully it's not deep. It's not. This is wild. I'll bring it back. Well, guys, unless I really, really messed up, I either passed the Dern Chapel or I've got it marked wrong on Gaia. There's that. But I don't understand because. I went by a couple different things and I think I marked it on the on the on Gaia because that's where I found it too. But I just went by where I had marked and it's not there. I don't see it. So I don't know, unless I'm missing something. But I mean everything I've seen video wise, they drove right up to the chapel. So I don't I I didn't see another road. To drive up to the chapel unless i marked the wrong road or whatever but i went by the sign there was a sign up at the road that said uh whatever it's called i can't read it right now it's bouncing too much but uh yeah that road that i passed that would have met up at this road uh -uh. man that's where i turned around um back there because it was it was and if I had gone to the right, there was a mud hole, a good sized mud hole that I would have had to go through. And I just, nope, not doing it. But, let's see. 
unless there's another road but it's like the chapel should be right up here right right up here somewhere where I marked it unless I missed something mr. I didn't miss a turn off I don't think but yeah it should be right up there there's no road going to it in every video I've ever seen of it people are driving to it I mean parked right in front of it right beside it no I don't know I'm confused I am confused but like right up there should be the chapel so I don't know I don't know what I've done wrong or what, what I marked wrong but we're gonna work our way back out of this and unless I see a sign up here that I missed um, there was another little road that went off to the right but that didn't look like it this is the road that I marked this is the road that I mean I put the dropped the pin and everything back there for the chapel this is really cool back here though I mean, it's really pretty. good news is I turned down the wrong road to go to Mount Olive better news is I found it Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church established in 1858 and there it is so yeah they still use this this is still um they still have services here of course not right now but uh i mean you can tell they still use this they have everything to use it um so i'm gonna remark it on gaia i'll delete that other marking so you can find it man all of missionary baptist church services sunday school at 10 a.m worship at 11 a.m Singing first Saturday of the month, homecoming third Sunday of the month. And look, it's even got a. This is. <laughs> talk about something coming up with the times. It's even got a ramp to get into the church. And it, there's electricity back here. There's a light bulb up there. So, anyway, that's the road I was going down and found it. But, uh, I mean, they got all the outbuildings and everything. There's a fireplace in there to heat the church. And there's lots of wasps. So I'm not going to go up any closer. There's a cross on the hill. So I found it. I found Mount Olive. Y'all hear all them wasps and stuff? <laughs> wow. But uh, still here. And I found it. I just went down the wrong road. All right, look at that beautiful beast, man. So, number two is off the list I wanted to do up here. So let's go hit number three and get turned around. Okay, so here's the lake. This is actually where the road ends. I'm gonna turn around right here, go right back. but that's the same lake that we're camping on right there in front of us I don't believe yeah yeah same lake let's try to find where okay so yeah here is where we're camping and here's where I am so oh I didn't show you I'm sorry here's where I am right there is where we're camping so anyway I'm gonna turn this turkey around and we're gonna get out of here because I have done what I wanted to do see the sign right here leaving Chuck Swan that was a pretty cool drive um, but um, I will put this on my website 
so that if anybody wants to come play around you can if you're in a jeep there's a bunch of other side roads that look like they would be a lot of fun um in a jeep i don't know that there's any serious you know crawling kind of stuff rock crawling or anything like that um but i will say that uh you may run across some rutted out roads you may run across a tree down uh, that was travis's biggest suggestion to me is he would run across something like that so anyways we are going to they're in a turtle in the road i am going back to camp and that's where we'll pick up later is at camp so see ya soon all right guys i was fixing to wrap it up for the night and i forgot i didn't close out the video for today um two things um chuck swan was really cool we'll come back i'd like to bring some jeeps with me so we can hit some of those other the southern northern roads and uh, check out some of those harder to get to places uh third thing or second thing third skip two all together second thing got to rain this afternoon with the gazelle, the gazelle tent up and let me see if you can see i had the windows unzipped like that all the way around and that one's probably the most of any of them yeah that one's pretty a lot too but uh not a drop got in to the tent and I was really amazed Sean was down here when it, from Swamp Stalker Outdoors was down here when it happened and uh, as Danny would say he probably brought the rain with him I mean it wasn't raining until he got here so but anyway we were watching it and we were really impressed with how the rain was sheeting off the tent itself off the fly and off the tent body it was just rolling off um, so I'm really impressed with that we were talking about the seam seals in this tent how much seam seal there is around the windows and doors and even those joints right there have it all the way around them and like it's just it's pretty wild especially right here if you'll see it it's like double triple sealed so i'm not worried about this tent leaking at all um after that it, i mean like i said it come a pretty good it was a let's see frog strangler uh gully washer there's a couple but uh overall good day nothing bad happened no rain Ooh. um good supper thanks again to shannon and his wife for asking me to come over for dinner tonight i did not go i had some stuff i wanted to cook and get rid of in the um, cooler because i had to throw it out when i got home if i didn't so that was really good um it wasn't nothing film worthy but i still wanted to cook it but that's it for this one i appreciate you watching Stay tuned to the final video, which will be tomorrow. Um, in a few hours, I will get up, tear down, and we're going to go do some more exploring. So I appreciate you watching. Be prepared. I'm tired.